So, you want to learn how to play better Call of Duty Ghosts 2021. Part 3, let's go. So, if you were to watch last video, I upgraded different to uh, my enemy bots and also my friendly bots. Show you back what I'm working with. I'm going to be running the T7. This is the silent but deadly. Now, use this class effectively. I'm not trying to go on long streams. I'm just trying to get those three things. And I'm going to show you what I do in the gameplay. But let's get started. Now, the reason why I use these particular kill streaks is because I can use it to help my team. They are not for me. They're for the team. That's why it's support. It doesn't matter if you put, you're dying a lot as long as you're playing the objective. You're earning points towards your support. That means you're assisting the team. You're taking a dive for the team. And I'm using this to help my teammate box. So, if I die like one off of IMS... It won't really bother me. Why? Because I'm not using an IMS. So, I don't die. I'm still going to earn what I have. But I'm using stuff to help my team. Not to help me. I could probably go on long streets, but I would have to be playing against, you know, people that I know that aren't really that to get game. Down the Right now, I'm playing against the very best bots. Look. Slid, drop shot with a shotgun. We coming out all Now, would a normal player do that? No. Arm off guard. This guy from Skywalk. I try to ego challenge and I die. So, he may just die back far. Get ADS. Another guy. Thought I heard another footstep. And I didn't. I got thrown up. There was actually four people back there. So I'm gonna go re-challenge, but I'm not gonna go the same way I did. I'm gonna take a different direction. Teammate just died on my left. See an enemy. You guys notice me. And there's a guy in mid. Oops, that far. I was outside that shotgun range. Ooh, guy in mid. Tennessee kitchen. I didn't hear the footstep. I'm gonna ego challenge. Alright, I got the first set of my support streets that I want for my team. Now I see a guy on the mini map by my teammate, so just my teammate get that kill. I still had 37 bullets. I'm not gonna go for reload. Night out ready. Now I'm gonna go for reload. I'm hurt. But I'm gonna go challenge. Ooh, crouch walking. Get him. Now if you're getting mad, you're getting frustrated. Enemy team, there's one. If they're making you making you frustrated, you're giving them the win. Now, I have the ammo, but I'm gonna go ahead and reload. So I'm gonna run away from my teammates. Right here. Oh, oh Ray. It's your I'm ego challenge. Say ADS. Are you going on my left? Now I still have 28 bullets, but I have a feeling there's a guy on my left side. And I got thrown a knife by the bot, so I know there's two, at least two people right here. Nope. Boom. I still got out gun. But that's okay. There's a guy on my left. Throw knife guy. Now there's a guy mid. Two mid. Now I had 21 bullets. Shoot the wall. I get no hit markers. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload. And I'm gonna knife. Now I'm gonna run away from my teammate. Now he got shot by a guy right here. Nope. Ooh, I'm walking to a guy with a shotgun. I was anticipating the other guy. Not a second guy. So, I'm gonna run back. But not the same way. I'm gonna take a different route. But I hear him. So, I'm gonna Eagle Challenge. And he do that through a knife at me again. Alright, so we got sweaters now. I'm gonna throw them for my teammates. Before I earn more. Now. Best ready for deployment. My knife. 
I'll run. Now I got into a gun fight where he had the advantage. His gun is meant for longer range than mine. Night owl but, waking hey, up. now I got more sweaters. Now I gotta got my left. Night owl. Ooh, I helped the teammate. Enemy satcom spotted. I got they the night owl. Now ego challenge. Guy in the kitchen. I got two guys that far. I got 35 bullets. I'm gonna go ego challenge. Oracle Ray. It's your Ooh, fate to activate. Three feet. I'm gonna reload. Friendly uh, Oracle overhead. Spot them full. I know where he is. We win the fight. Straight thug. Boom. Am I now protect me? Oh, I had a guy that just spawned there. All my left. Nothing I can do about it. But guess what? Saw that guy. And I'm helping my teammates. You be mad safe when you equip that ballistic. Now I have 27 bullets. I can ego challenge. Which I did, and I got dropped by it. Now I got a guy coming up mid. Back I'm gonna reload. I have 11 bullets. There's a guy by the quarter. They came out. Now I'm an ego challenge. I don't hear anybody. I'm gonna grab the quarter. I'm a night owl. Oracle off the line. Now I'm gonna go ego challenge. Now I ego challenge, and there was a guy on my right. So now, boom, I know where to go, and I know where not to go. I try to go for the ego challenge again. Still died. So, I'm gonna give up going that way. Sometimes you gotta let your pride go. No, it gets frustrating. You get butter about it, but. Boom. Okay. Okay. My goal is to not only win, but I also have to do better than my boss. And look at that. I still did better than the boss. Now, see that one bot? He had a 2KD. Other one was negative. So, now, next game, I want to do even better. I should be able to get more kills and have to take fewer deaths than my bots. So, right now, we're going to go ahead up my friendlies. But, we're gonna put them on better. Now, enemy bots are at seven. But, we're going to take them and put them on mixed. So now, I don't know how well I will do. I don't know how good the bots are gonna act. Are they gonna jump shot around corners? Drop shot? Are they gonna instant throw on night me? Are they gonna sit in corners? Because the bots would be higher difficulty. They play the gun. They have an LMG, they'll sit back. They have a sniper, they're gonna sit back. They have a shotgun, they're gonna run. So, you have to remember, you're playing against a computer. You're not actually playing against people. But, people do act somewhat similar to the bots. And that's how you learn. You learn the rushers. You learn the people that like to camp. Once you find their camp spot, you can go a different route. Like, they might be thinking, oh, I'll just sit in this one side, and I'm going to hold down the trigger, and, you know, nobody's getting through this side. But they might look the other way. And that moment they look the other way, you're warning up to them, and you're ending them. Now, I asked last episode, hey, do you all want to see the war zone? Uh, after tonight's video, I'm going to start seeing if I can actually record and play. But problem is, I do run out of USB 3.0 slots. Because I have to have an extra cooling fan. So that takes up a USB. If I don't have that extra cooling fan plugged in after like an hour and a half, that CPU starts to get really hot in the upper 90s, and once it hits 99 degrees Celsius, 
so it starts throttling and it starts cutting into my frame rate. So I had to have that. I said I like playing on a PS4 scuff controller on PC because it's more comfortable. And I haven't really found a good mouse to use, so I play with the controller. And you have to have it plugged in, you cannot use Bluetooth. That's just the way a battle net set up, you have to be wired in. And then I need my headset, which the headset I use is the Turtle Beach 700 series for PS4 and PC. So I just plug it out of my PS3 and into my PC. So I, I only have three USB 2.0 slots and all three are taken up. So I'm going to try to see if I can get a USB 3.0 USB C because I do have a Thunderbolt, uh, Thunderbolt port and just a regular USB Type C and USB Type. So I'm going to see what I can do. Y'all want to see some uh, some highlights of my Plunder games, or just see like how do you win in Plunder? I'm not really much of a VR player. It's just too slow pace for me. But I do like Plunder. You can end up with a lot of kills and win, or you can win without getting a single kill. But if y'all enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to your part. Fifty plus percent of people who are not subscribed to watch my videos. Hit that subscribe button, man. What you doing? If I enjoy somebody's content on YouTube, I hit subscribe. So I get notified when they post something. And if they keep posting stuff that I enjoy, I'm going to keep dropping a like. And the moment they post something that I don't enjoy, well, I'm going to stop watching them until they post something that I enjoy again. And if they continue that trend, well, uh, then I'll hit unsubscribe. But if I go back to their videos, I'm going to hit subscribe because, like, it lets people know, based on subscriber counts and likes, hey, you enjoy the content that I'm making. But, yeah, if you want to know a couple of my class setups, this is by far the best specialist class that you can make for an AR. You want to go ahead and pause the video, take that. That's a little extra. So, drop a like, and let's go.